Shout out to my motherfucking walls. Uh, we ain't never home. We What's up, it's your girl Run. If you're attuned to me right now, you're now officially my woe. So go ahead, do me a favor, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit that notification bell too, so you could be first on the scene for whenever I drop. And if you are new to my channel, my name is Ro, and I do appreciate you for clicking on my link. Here you're gonna get some facts, some opinions, but you definitely, most definitely gonna get some laughs. And as you could tell from the title, this is the second part to the Never Have I Ever. I got some new ones for y'all, you know what I'm saying? I threw out the old ones, I got some new ones. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video because I really enjoyed doing the last one. But make sure y'all like this video and watch the whole video and hit that subscribe button too now. All right, All right, right let's, let's get it shaking. Dum, 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 dum. What do we have? Never have I ever pretended to be on the phone with someone. Of course I have. You know, like when you be walking or you see somebody and you don't want them to talk to you. So you just pull out your phone. Yeah, what you doing? Nothing instead of trying to ease and walk on by. I done did that plenty of times, especially when I was younger, walking to the store. And you know how them hood gas stations be. People all outside pick up their phone real quick. Ain't even talking. Yeah, what you doing? Nothing at the store. All right. You know what I'm saying? I be talking while I'm there all the way till I get back across the street and hang it up. Everybody that pretended to be on the phone. Well, probably not everybody. If you ever did that, comment below to avoid people messing with you. Comment below if you ever pretended to be on the phone just to avoid somebody. And if you haven't, comment below too. Let me know. All right, on to the second one. Let's see what we got, y'all. Let's see. Never have I ever tried to quit smoking. Actually, I have, and I succeeded. I ain't smoked a cigarette since last year, May, at the end of May. Hey, shut up the veto. Hey. And I don't even smoke marijuana no more, y'all. I've been clean for going on three years. <laughs> for real, for real though. But not only have I tried to quit smoking, I also succeeded. Congrats to me though. Hey. I mean, it wasn't it, it wasn't easy. I ain't gonna lie. It was not easy, but you know, you just gotta roll with the punches and stick to it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I have. Tried to stop smoking and I succeeded. Hey. All right, let's see what else we're going to get out the bowl. Let's see what's popping. Never have I ever turned someone down. Of course I have. If I don't want to talk to you or be with you, I'm going to tell you no. I mean, some people might think it's mean, but I ain't about to sit there and waste your time. So, you know, of course, you know, I didn't turn down a couple people. It be like that sometimes, but if I'm not interested in you, I'm not even about to get your hopes high and talk to you. That's just me. Some people play with people's feelings. Me, I ain't with that. If I don't like you or want to be with you, I'm going to let you know so you can go and find somebody that wants you. I'm just saying. All right. Let's see what else we got. Never have I ever destroyed something out of anger. Like, I done threw phones, irons. I ain't even gonna lie. I got a little temp for this little anger and this little old body. That mug can go from zero to 100 real goddamn quick. I tell you, don't let the size fool you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, if I'm extremely mad, I try not to be like that. But I done broke plenty of phones, irons, just boom, launched them bitches across the goddamn uh room but yeah i got a little temper but i'm still working on that you know what i'm saying i'm trying to get better i'm working let's on. see what else we got y'all never have i ever thrown up from drinking too much <laughs> plenty of times listen because <laughs> it always be like 
I don't know with me, once I start drinking, you know what I'm saying, I be in turned up mode like, yeah, I don't even care about eating. And of vodka. I go wrong every goddamn time. Like, cause once I take a shot or two, I don't feel like eating cause I'm already, you know what I'm saying, amping myself up. So I'm trying to get lit, you know what I'm saying? Now I'll be thinking about food, but that next morning, nigga be over the toilet. Ugh, ugh, ain't nothing coming up cause ain't nothing in my stomach. I be like, why? Why I did that shit so many times, y'all. I still be doing that shit to this day, but <laughs> I be trying to watch it. I be trying to make sure I eat good before I start drinking, but sometimes, like, when I get in that lit mode, I don't be caring about eating. I have to watch that because that next morning, I be looking crazy. <laughs> for real, for real, but I definitely have thrown up plenty of times. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. All right, I think I'm going to do one more for you guys. Never have I used a fake ID. I mean, the ID was real. Shit, it just wasn't me on there. You know what I'm saying? I think I've been to the club two times while underage. And I had one of my older sister IDs. How did I get past? Because the height definitely didn't match. I'm small, they taller than me, so how did I get in there? I don't know, but the ID wasn't fake. It just wasn't mine, you know what I'm saying? Comment below if y'all ever used somebody ID to get into the club. Did, did you get past the bounces and into the club or did you get caught and they ain't let you in? Comment below, cause I wanna know. Fortunately, I made it. I did, they didn't stop me, so it was all gravy. I was in there like I was right too. <laughs> you already know what time it is. This week's shout outs goes to Goddess Flo. She is an artist and she is an author. She write books too, and she has a clothing line called Goddess Apparel. And I'm gonna put her, she just started a YouTube, so I'm gonna put her YouTube page up here so y'all can go ahead and subscribe to her and she got her little trailer on her book that she has out now it's called pregnancy blues so y'all go check it out and you can also buy it on amazon with ebook or paperback but i'm gonna put the trailer that she has on her page on here so y'all just be on the lookout and y'all go ahead and show her some love and subscribe to her channel and go buy that book up on amazon Nurturing is a characteristic that females are born with. It's in our DNA, and we are in tune with nurturing at a young age. So you gonna sit here and look at your phone all day? Man, yeah. You got a problem with it? You pay my phone bill, man? What's up? No, I don't, and I'm not gonna pay your phone bill. All you need to be interacting. Leave me alone, man. Don't stop with that bullshit. No, I'm not trying to hear nothing. Well, fuck it then, man. I ain't gonna do shit, nothing else for the baby then, all right? How about that? I ain't doing shit else for the baby. For instance, one of our first toys is a baby doll, which comes with clothes, bottles, a comb, a brush, and other accessories. We're taught to care for others without realizing it. Most of us play with Barbie and Ken, and along with those came the dollhouse and the Instagram page up here so if you want one of her shirts 
she got God flow and goddess flow for males and females. So if y'all want one of her shirts, I'm gonna put her page up there so y'all go show her some love. And this about wraps my video up. I hope y'all enjoyed this because I enjoyed doing this. You already know, go ahead, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell too. So anytime I do post, you will be first on scene to see what I got to say. Till next time, get a rose out.